ability. The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Did I get delivered here? Somebody tell me, please. This old world confuses me. Welcome back to the Raider News Live Show. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Charlie, and we are here to tell you today's news. Varsity Girls Soccer destroyed Summit in a 1-0 victory. Juliana Doran scoring the winning goal. Tickets are on sale for the Boys and Girls Soccer Game at the Red Bull Stadium on October 4th. You can get your tickets with the link on SPF Raider Nation's Instagram bio, and the theme for the game will be posted this week. Get ready and bring your Raider spirit. It's redemption time. Attention all students. Picture day is tomorrow, September 28th. Photos will be taken throughout the day in the auditorium. The Nutrition Club will be holding an interest meeting this Thursday, September 28th, in room 129, immediately after school. Nutrition Club will be offering treats. Come to the first official multiple multicultural meeting this Friday, September 29th, right after school in room 280. We will be celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month with snacks and activities. This is all the news for today, and keep watching to find out what the SPF HS students did over the summer and what they are looking forward to for this upcoming school year. We're asking people what they did this summer and what they're looking forward to this school year. With Karis Brown, Karis, what was your favorite thing you did all summer? Um, go to LBI. Uh, my summer was really fun. I had a good time. Summer went good. Uh, I went to be to the beach with my friends. With Ben Filler, Luca. Oh, uh, what is your guys' favorite thing you did over the summer? Uh, probably Croatia. <laughs> Probably go to Italy. And My summer was pretty good. Spent at the beach. Taught kids how to surf. You know. So, what was your favorite part? Um, probably not having school, being with all my friends, being in the water. You know, it's a really enjoyable experience and getting tan. Tan. You are very tan. This summer, uh, golfing. Huge golfer. He lost and he brought a glove to Top Golf and then proceeded to lose, which is pretty embarrassing. Probably going down to the beach with my friends. Um. Stay at the beach with my friends. I went to the beach a lot. Not bad at all. Spent some time with the family, a couple small trips, worked at a day camp. It was good. Oh. Uh, and what are like your plans for the school year? Anything exciting? Um, no, just kind of get into the swing of things, get back to the routine, enjoy watching the uh, athletics, stuff like that. <laughs> um, to get my whip, for sure. My whip. Okay. Thank you. Uh, school. <laughs> Like, just having fun, like, outside of school. Uh, to play sports. And, yeah, that's it. Just to graduate and <laughs> get good grades. Um, I'm excited for Daniel Jones and the Giants to win the Super Bowl. Yes. Uh, um, you know, just to meet new people, join new clubs, and really just... <laughs> get better at school and my grades. <laughs> okay, thank you. Up next, we have a quick interview with Mrs. Petraka, the advisor of National Honor Society. And stay tuned for an interview with Mia Delaney, president of National Honor Society. Okay, I'm here with? Petraka. Ms. Petraka. Hi, Ms. Petraka. How do we join the NHS club? <laughs> you don't join. You have to be eligible and you have to apply. You go through that process and then you are in, um, inducted during a ceremony. Thank you. And can all grades join or apply? Uh, no, it's most likely going to be uh, juniors and sometimes seniors if they didn't make it, but it's usually junior year. All right, thank you. No problem. Hello, we are here with National Honor Society President Mia Delaney. Hey, Mia. Hey, Charlie. We were wondering if we could ask you a few questions about the National Honor Society Club. Sure. What is National Honor Society? and who is it for? Okay. The National Honor Society is for students like juniors and seniors who have above a GPA requirement and who are active participants of the community who want to be a part of a, uh, like a national club. Mia, how can juniors and seniors apply? 
Okay, well for the 2023 year, invitations to juniors were already sent out that had a high GPA. So if you're a freshman or sophomore, wait for your um, email to come in for an invitation to an assembly to learn more about how you can apply. But in the meantime, rack up your service hours. You need 100 and keep up your GPA. What are some ways students can get service hours around the community? Um, you can join clubs. A lot of clubs will offer like out of school service hours, especially in school too. I know um, Mental Health Awareness Club and part of that. They do a lot of in school service hours and Animal Care Club does a lot outside, which is easy to get some. Um, do you enjoy being the president and how did you um, take on this role of being the president? <laughs> um, I, it just kind of started, but we're getting ready to induct the juniors, which is pretty exciting, and seeing them go through the process, so I enjoy it, um, and I got this. It was just a Google form we had to fill out with our service project we had for our seniors this year, and then, yeah, everyone elected that was in the National Honor Society last year. Could you share what that service project is, or is that a secret? Um, I know that's the first, there's a half of it is going to be peer tutoring that seniors are going to do for underclassmen, but that's all we know so far. Okay, thank you. And there, are there any important deadlines coming up? Um, juniors are being inducted in December, so this November is important for juniors to get in their applications. Yep. And seniors if you didn't get in last year. Thanks, Mia. Yep. Thank you. Okay, folks, that's all for today. See you next week. Ha <laughs> ha!